Hello everybody, um, before we start the race, um, I would like to deeply apologize to Jacob Lawler. I didn't realize until very late in the race that Jacob Lawler wasn't in the field, because it was, I had the number 12 on the 2003 number 12 Ryan Newman car set as my single player, and I didn't think it would affect the 2008 car because it was a different car set. So... I decided to give Jacob Lawler 14 points to be fair to him, and I really apologize for Jacob Lawler. This will this will not happen again. I can guarantee you that this will not happen again. So, um, sorry for Jacob Lawler. Hope you guys enjoy the race. So, here you go. Hello, everybody. Oh my God! And welcome to season two of the AWS Dupont Cup Series. And holy cow, do we have a lot of changes from last season? We have 17 drivers returning for another season and 11 new rookies who are looking to make their name in the Air WS DuPont Cup Series. Yes, that's right. We expanded from 25 to 28 drivers, which will probably never go farther than that, but oh well. But yep. So anyways, last season we had a poll award thing. We actually are still going to do that. As you can see, Nick Mace has won the poll. so. He's already off to a good start this season. Um, we're going to try and spotlight each car that we get. Oh my god, magic! So, there's Dylan Schwallenberg, who during Speed Weeks announced that he formed Red Line Racing. And his teammate is going to be Matt, rookie Matthew Fuller, which I hope we can find here. Where is Matthew? There he is. Okay, eleven of these rookies. We also have a new, another new. We have also have a changes to a team. We have Hartlepool Motorsports was with Sean Gallagher in the 14 last season, and now they picked up Kyle Sosnowski, who's making his debut this season. He's in the 10 car, and the pace car rolls off. Nick Mace is your pole sitter. He's going to lead into the flag. Bunch of. Can a rookie make his name today? Or we, we'll, uh, you know what? Let's just race. <laughs> Nick Mace was one of the very few drivers from last season who decided to stay with his current ride. Um, blame him, as he did pretty well in the 40A, and there's no reason for him to switch. down the straightaway there's I think Eric Burton yeah Eric Burton getting a push from Trafford Brussels but all uh oh they're going three wide four wide already remember the last time they did this it didn't work at all oh boy oh boy they're all making crazy moves already Don Schwalberg is getting shoved to the high side uh oh this travels caused a couple of wrecks before like that, oh god, oh god, oh no, Michael Block, he doesn't have much room, they're five wide, coming to the stripe, this is, they're gonna wreck, aren't they, they're, gonna, they're not gonna make it through, there's no way they're gonna make it through this turn, oh, four four to the boat, oh, there's the big one, there's the big one, oh my goodness, the whole field just wrecked, well, most of them did, there's Matthew Fuller, Oh, oh, Derek Bonassi is getting pushed out. Oh, Dustin Griffiths just flipped over. Mason Wood, he's, he's wrecked. Nick Mace is wrecked, too. Eric Byrne just got taken out. William Duncan's involved. Drew Austin came out just fine. There's Jeffrey Buckeye. Jake Cole. Oh, my goodness me. A lap to wreck. Will Goss looks like he has slight damage. Fibrosis has left, as looks like he has tire damage on the left. Justin Perry's got front damage. Michael Block, he looks damaged. Uh, Fuller is with problems. Dylan Young is damaged as well. Everybody's got damage. Once they went five wide, you saw that you knew that was going to happen. I don't think we can fall. Matthew Fuller there. I mean, he doesn't have much room to move. If they had made through that turn five wide, I would have been impressed, but... 
Well, I guess we'll have to take a look at the replay and get a closer look at what happened and probably already a candidate for wreck of the year. So let's go take a look at a replay. Alright, so this is one day we're in the trial oval. They're going five wide into the third row. And they fall back and let's watch Matthew Fuller here. Michael Block comes oh wow, yeah, that was not Michael Block's fault. I mean that was not Matthew Fuller's fault at all. Oh my goodness me, that was a hard wreck. Not a lot of people got through it either. Let's take one last look at this. See if we can spot any good saves. Wow, the 84 of Gigi Max did a good job of uh, keeping the car straight, but... Oh, and then the 70 gets flipped over. He gets pummeled several times. That's, yeah, it doesn't grip it. Well, anyways, let's go back to the green. Alright, so as we're ready to go back to green, Drew Austin's your leader. Let's do some talking real quick. Drew Austin replaced John Schwallenberg in the 5, which prompted Schwallenberg to create Redline Racing. There's Hayden Klein in the 8, after Trevor Bros decided not to return to the 8 car, Hayden Klein filled his position. And one of the surprising moves of the whole entire preseason with Mason Wood leaving his championship 1 car to go to the number 20 of Joe Gibbs. Jake Cole is driving Mason Wood's equipment for last season, so a lot of big things are expected from him. Jeffrey Buckeye replaced Noah Hart in the 83 which prompted Noah Hart to leave the series. Daniel Day returned to the 9. Uh, Jason Tross is joining Roush after Eugene DeMax and um, Eric Sorfox left. He was one of the ones to fill the Roush position. Austin the Plant replaced Eric Sorfox in the 6. Sean Galligan went to the 7 and changed his team, um, changed his team uh, manufacturer to Dodge. Dylan Schwamberg, like we said, created Red Line Racing with Matthew Fuller. Austin Nogo is on watch for his history of not commenting. He replaced Seth Cole in the 07. Dylan Young's back into the 16. Charles Jackson's making his debut in the 19. Richard Johnson, after being kicked out by Mason Wood and Joe Gibbs, decided to create his own team where Richard Johnson Incorporated is driving the 28 Ford. Will Goss is making his debut in the 01. Kostanowski is making his debut in the 10. So let's go green flag racing again. Drew Austin is your leader. 15 cars are left in this field. We lost 13 cars in that wreck. Very unfortunate for some of these guys. Not the debut some of these guys wanted to start off with, but Still have a handful of rookies left. Here comes Jack Cole, dives down below. Hayden Klein. Everybody's falling in. There's Daniel Day. A lot more dodge this season than last season. Whoa, Jack Cole just turned left. Oh, Daniel Day now. He's hanging on to the bottom line here. Three wide for the lead. Now Austin the Plant's trying to follow in behind him. Mason Woods got Hayden Klein, who is his teammate. Oh man. Plants all over that nine cars bumper. Dylan Schwallenberg. Oh, day! He almost turned himself there. That would have been really bad. That could have caused another big one. It took out even more cars. We got a couple slowers. 
There's Dylan Young, he's pretty slow. San Francisco and Will Goss, they got some damage from that wreck, but they kept it out on track, because now these top 11 cars are going to bow for the lead, unless Richard Johnson can charge up there. Kind of interesting to see Dylan Schwalenberg out of that 5 car and go to a 55 car. Not like you really had much of a choice in the matter. Daniel Day is trying to, he's trying, he's hoping that Charles Jackson can get up to him and help him out, but not much left in the team requirement. Daniel Day is trying to hold on to the lead as best he can. Drew Austin dives down below Hayden Klein. Klein gives him room. Well, not too much room, but he gives some of it. Mason Woods already out of this race. That's very unfortunate for him. We lost a ton of rookies I don't want to talk about. There's there was Dustin Griffiths in the seventy. We haven't I've never really known I don't really know who he was, but he's in inter two thousand three leagues before, so he's obviously you know, not too much of a stranger. I recognize Derek Bonasse from the NCGMRS from the from the uh, SGMRS uh, sports car series which I took part in. So it's interesting to, so it's pretty cool to see that he's come here to try my series, so. Now Drew Austin dives down below. I don't think we're going to get too many wrecks now with so few cars, but. Charles Jackson's made his way to the front with his teammate Daniel Day. Now what Drew also wants to see in his mirror, mirror, he sees two Dodges behind him. <laughs> Kinda, I'm really interested to see how Charles Jackson's going to do this season. Whoa! Jake Cole snuck his way through there. You now he's got help from his teammate Hayden Klein. Now... Oh shit, crap, I just, I just, I just realized something. Jacob Lawler is not in this race. He's driving the 12. And for some reason, 12 is set to my car. Well, that's great. Sorry for your Jacob Lawler. Um, I'll give you, uh, how about this? I'll give Lawler, I'll start him off with 10 points. That'll be nice. <laughs> I'm so, I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> I had no idea that there was 212. I had no idea that I had a 12 set to myself. I apologize deeply for that. I would restart this, but I honestly don't want to... I hate restarting races, and honestly, I don't think it's going to be fair. J. Cole is still leading. Klein put, gets his teammate out of the way. He takes to the lead. Austin the plants on him the move. Needs some help from Jason Tross, his rookie teammate. Whoa, Drew Austin just came out like a bat out of hell. If you look behind him, there's Jeffrey Buckeye. He's trying to get up to the front, but it's not working too well for him. Austin Ogo, Sean Galligan, Will Goss, and Kostas Noski, and then there's Dylan Young. Oh boy, the plant's blocking.
tell Eric Silver, I mean Eric Silver Fox decided not to return to the six with Lost in the Plan coming back. Lost in the Plan was driving for Gin Racing last season and he was in the thirty eight. The thirty eight was an option for he was actually offered to come back to the thirty eight, but he decided to opt with the Roush, saying that he thinks he'll have better he'll do better at Roush, which is kinda odd because, you know, he did pretty well. Points wise. So Well, surprised no one came back to the 17 cars since the Max did really well in that one, but I guess no one wanted any anything to do with the Max or Matt Kenseth. And now Drew Austin pushing Dylan Schwalmberg. He dumped Schwalmberg there. Not sure if we're going to get some tension between those two. As Dylan Schwalmberg is the only Hendrick car left. If you're, if you're not a fan of Hendrick, then you're going to be happy about that one, but So are approaching three laps to go. Drew Austin is your leader. And Jake Cole are trying to work with them. Makes you wonder. Now Dylan Schwalberg charges below. Well, well now he's charging below Jacob Lawler and Jake Cole trying to. Well, he is going to pass through Austin. He almost went three wide there. I remember the finish from last season involved three drivers coming from outside the top five, and when they came to the white flag, they were in the top three. Now, Dylan Schwalberg with two laps to go, dies below Jake Cole as Drew Austin gets down to the bottom. Charles Jackson, the two Abraham cars working together. Down below, Daniel Day pushing his teammate Charles Jackson. Daniel Day gets rid of Jackson now. He's going to try and get past him. Oh, but Drew Austin has a huge run. He forces Daniel Day into four wide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Drew Austin's going to charge. Austin the plant's going to have none of it. And now it's Drew Austin. Dylan Schwalmer is going to lead into the white flag. White flag waving. Drew Austin has got to charge up there. This is, this is, uh, oh god, this could be interesting. We got, oh, Drew Austin now. He's charging uh, to Schwalenberg. Dives down below. Schwal I mean, Drew Austin with the raw on the bottom. Jason Tross with a shove from Jake Cole in the back. They're trying to get to the front. Drag race down the straightaway. The inside line is faster. Charles Jackson makes it four wide for four. Dylan Schwalberg needs to get to the bottom. I think Drew Austin might, maybe or not, have this. But Schwalberg needs to pick up the pace. Drew Austin needs to get to the bottom. It's over. Here they come to the checkered flag. Drew Austin wins at Talladega. And ahead of his uh, predecessor, Dylan Schwalmer. Wow. Not as good as the fish as last season, but it was still decent nonetheless. Big congrats to Drew Austin. He drove that car really well. He was very strong all day and managed to pull a, a win for Hendrick Motorsports. Dylan Schwalberg with a good debut for Redline Racing. Both the Everham cars got a good start to their season. Live driver's got a decent run. Roush did a good job of keeping most of their cars in. Austin Ogo is going to come in the top 10. Galligan in 11. Well, congrats to Drew Austin on winning the Talladega 500. Pretty off to a very good debut for that number five team, and 
Hopefully we'll get some more good races. Apologies to Jacob Lawler. I had no idea that the 12 car was not available for you. So I will put. So Jacob Lawler, you will start off with 10 points. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.